This is part three of modeling a lantern and texturing it with the Blender add-on Smudger Pro. And what I've done is I've deleted the bench uh, just because I felt it was a little distracting in case you want to see this uh, or imagine this in your shipwreck scene or your um, sort of sci-fi scene or dungeon scene, something like that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, texture this thing now. Um, one thing to note is that I'm going to be doing this in cycles. All right, so we're going to do that and we're going to do it. Um, we'll do some of it in look dev. And so if I come over here and use my scene lights and scene world, it's dark. And so I'm going to go ahead and put in an environment textures an HDR image choose anything to get some light in there and we're going to want to do this in rendered view all right so i'm going to select the top and i'm going to go in the shading editor with that selected i'm going to click new and i've got my principal bsdf down here i'm going to choose sort of a green color a darkish green and I'm going to slide the metallic all the way up. Okay, so this is going to be, I'll call this metal. Metal one, I'll probably do a couple. And I want everything to have that switch back to layout. And look, dev is fine. I'm going to hide that where that will be the glass. And I'm going to select everything. And this one last, and control L, put those materials on everything all right back to the shading tab i don't need the glass in there right now i'm going to select this and i'm going to slide this out materials close that up and you can see that smudger is right in here integrated into the materials tab i've got my metal one material selected and I want to come down and I want to try an automatic setup this time. There's a bunch of presets. All right, I'm going to choose well used and add an automatic setup. And it is going to put all that stuff in automatically for me. Now, in order to see this well, I'm going to switch over to layout and rendered view. And it's already done a cavity shader on there. Let's go back to the materials. Okay, I've got scratches. I've got uh, wear here, cavity wear. All right. So if I say wanted to adjust this some more, what I think I could use is some more lights before I even do that. So let's go ahead and add some lights. Let's make some, some quick tweaks on this thing. Let's go in the shading tab, select this, and up here, the catcher, I'm gonna change the roughness to, let's try 0 0.1. Okay, that's a little bit too much, 0 0.2 for the metal. Maybe even 0 0.3. Okay, now, back in the rendered view. With that selected on materials. For cavity wear, I'm gonna click on preview. And I'm gonna boost the blacks. I'm gonna try 65. And now my edge wear is really, or my cavities right around there. Boost the whites a little bit. And I can use a multiplier here of say three. We'll try that. And let's stop previewing and have a look at this. Let's 
you can start seeing what looks like ambient occlusion. We'll try 70 and a multiplier of say 6. And you can see it a little bit more. Okay, at this point I can, uh, if I go back into look dev, I, I can't see the cavity, but I can see everything else. So maybe I want to make some adjustments to this. I've got some scratches in here. So let's have a look at the scratches. Maybe I'll change that. All right, decide if I, if I like that. And let's go over to the dust. And I can try a different one. Um, I'm going to put this as, let's try 0 0.8. And let's put on some more side dust. Let's put uh, 0 0.5. All right, so there's a change there. And we can, we can scale this. Okay. I also have some smudges under here, so we'll we'll try different smudges. I think that's the one that I like. Make some adjustments if we want to. Okay, just to get it to look a little bit warm. look at this through the camera but let's get rid of the background for now so let's come over to the world tab and work on that all right that's what that looks like so far let's go back and do some more work on this I'll just do it in look dev for now. Back to smudger. And I want, for dust, I want more. There's more dust. I want more side dust as well. Maybe not quite that much. It's starting to look nice. Scratches. Okay, let's see. I want more scratches. Okay, let's play around with this here. Okay, I see my scratches there. There we go, they're coming through. I want more smudges. Let's boost the blocks, let's boost the whites. Let's see how that looks. Stop previewing. Starting to look a lot older. I'm going to switch to rendered view. And I want to look at my cavity. Here. Starting to look nicely, nicely warm at this point. Okay, so let's do the glass. Now, the first thing I need to do, let's just go back to here, is um, I am going to create an emission material in the middle. So I'm going to bring my 3D cursor right there. In fact, I am just going to take this shifty scale shift Z and pull it in nice and small 
look right from the front to scale this in the Z so it goes all the way through with that selected on the material tab I'm going to click new I'm going to call this mission and under surface I'm going to choose emission I'll make it sort of a yellowish color and I'll make this 40 Let's see if we can see something there okay there it is maybe a little bit darker maybe a little bit lighter than that all right let's bring back this glass here I'm going to choose glass I'm going to choose glass here for the roughness I'm going to put 0 0.1 We'll try that. Yeah. Maybe 0 0.05 for roughness. Let's just have a look at what that does. Okay, we can see the emission material here. And we can see the glass. We're going to uh, focus on the glass now. And I'm going to um, add a smudger setup. And I'm just going to do this myself. Add scratches on this glass. And for the depth, I'm going to choose 0 0.05 maybe. So I've got some scratches on the glass. I can scale them. I'm going to. Click here. And um, play around with this. So the scratches are a little bit less regular. They're just here and there. Okay, so we got a bit of scratches. Let's put a little bit of dust on here. Um, I'm going to go with 2 and on the side, zero. let's try 0 0.5, see what that does. A little bit of dust, let's just have a look at that. And it breaks up the emission uh, very nicely. We'll do a little bit more work on this. Let's uh, come in here and let's take this emission here. And uh, come in here. make this nice and yellow let's make this 50 yeah, I'll try that okay cool all right so with that then let's see what we got there is that just a lantern all right let's take this shifty and G let's bring another one out and on this one let's copy that material call this I don't know like metal 2 and in the shading right here I'm going to turn change that to a different color I'll lighten that up a bit as well I'm going to take all this by the way I move this to a new collection and I'm going to call this lantern 2 so I can manipulate it really quickly and easily let's take this and hide it and that and hide it and then box select all of that select that last and put on those materials let's bring everything back let's look through the camera and turn the lights back on and then of course we'd have to make some adjustments here cool so far I'm going to um, make just a couple of more changes here that emission I'm gonna make a little bit less yellow I'm gonna make it 40 and here I want to just have one more look at that 
dust. Maybe I'll go for that for this one. Let's render that now. I'm going to go for 200. Let's do it full size. Yeah, I'll do it 85. And just like that, I have two pretty cool uh, looking lanterns, uh, but we're not quite done with that render. Created. I'm going to switch over to Compositor, use Nodes, pull that down, and to close that. All right, Shift A, Output Viewer, put that down, connect image to image. We'll see it in the background there. And Shift A, Filter Glare, throw that in. Whoa, we don't want that. We want Fog Glow, High. And maybe try six just to give it a little bit more of that all right so you can go for that kind of look maybe the background is a little bit too light but if you liked it you would then select the viewer node click n item save this image and you could bring that into your uh, uh, post production software so that's basically how i would use smudger pro to uh, work on these lanterns